Hey everybody, welcome to today's edition of It's Just How I Oil. I hope you guys are looking forward to a fantastic weekend. I know we've got some lots of fun stuff planned and I hope you get to enjoy some football or some leaf looking or just some great time together with family. I want to share with you the story of how I got to learn about our sacred frankincense that is available through Young Living. I had the opportunity to hear Dr. Cole Woolley speak last February at a wonderful conference, and I just would like to share his story with you guys about how sacred frankincense came to be a part of Young Living's amazing line of essential oils. Okay, I wrote some notes here, so I'm just going to share with you guys. Uh, Dr. Woolley traveled to Oman in 2010, uh, and that he met with the Bedouin farmers who actually farmed the land in Oman. He did this um, just to establish a relationship with him with these people. Um, this was not something that was very easy to attain as the right to be able to get the frankincense so that you can distill it and farm it. Um, so actually you can't farm it at all and I'll tell you why. The people who farm the land are the farmers who have had the right to farm this land for 5,000 years and it's about 13 tribes uh, that are able to do this. So Dr. Woolley went and established a relationship with these farmers. He actually camped with them as they were up in the region where the frankincense grows and was able to form a good rapport. So at that point, they actually allowed Young Living to build our own distillery there. So as they are going in, and I'll go through the concept of how they are able to get the resin from the tree. They actually scrape the tree and remove the resin. It takes several weeks uh, for it to dry out. Only about 10% of the resin contains essential oil. So you can imagine what process we have to go through in order to be able to get the sacred frankincense that we are so fortunate enough to be able to use. Um, he also was able to, um, oh, what else was I going to tell you guys? It was so cool. Uh, oh, the other cool thing. This is so neat about how the farmers are such good stewards of the trees. So where they scrape the frankincense and get the resin, they do not go back to that same tree for a long time. Like they will go around to all the other trees in the region over several years. They do not go back to that tree until it is completely healed from being scraped. How amazing is that? So the frankincense that we're able to get is very powerful. So when I say that it is amazing that Young Living is giving us sacred frankincense this month for free, if we spend 300 PV, it's amazing that Young Living is giving us sacred frankincense. I mean, this is something that has to be farmed from Oman. It is farmed by people who own the right to farm it. No one ever outside of that region is ever going to be able to farm it. The fact that Young Living has such a good rapport with the government there and with the farmers is speaks of the quality of our company and the integrity and the amazingness of who we are as a company. So I want you to think about how amazing it would be. It's going to be to have sacred frankincense in your home, using it and diffusing it. And I also want to challenge you to Google sacred frankincense sometime over the next couple of days and just do a little reading on it. There's a reason why Dr. Marcola calls it the king of all oils. As I always say, it was good enough for Jesus. It's obviously good enough for us. Did you know that sacred frankincense was part of the oil that was burned as incense in the temple in the Old Testament? Um, so you just really need to think and consider what sacred frankincense can do for you and you're able, if you're able to bring it into your home over this next month, when you're able to bring it into your home. All right, guys, that's it. That's my story, my cool story of how I found out about how we at Young Living were able to obtain sacred frankincense that is not very easily obtainable by very many people. So until next time, I just pray that you are blessed. And I pray that in all things that you live in good abundance, that you receive it and that you're happy, that you're healthy, that you're oily, and that you live free. Why? Because it's just how I oil. Get that frankincense, y'all. It's awesome.